there, it's Cindy. Um, I, we were having a rainy day today, and so I just kind of was looking around for something to do this morning, and I was on Instagram and caught my girlfriend Shamara's bee skep or skeep, I'm not sure how to say it, that she made, and I was so inspired, I looked around and grabbed what I could and found that I had everything I needed. I'm gonna flip around and show you my bee things that I made today. You need to head over, Shamara's Pretty Things is the name of the feed and she's got an Instagram TV today that does a step-by-step -step tutorial. And I literally was super inspired because it's always the shape. How do you create that, you know, oh, uh, rounded top? And she used, um, I think it was like a Tupperware container or something. Anyway, it really got me thinking, what could I use that I already have at home? So I'm gonna flip around and show them to you and then I'm gonna tell you what I used as the base. All right, this is what I made in the last, like maybe hour and a half. Two little bee skeps. I'm not sure, how do you say that? Somebody correct me, is it bee skeep, bee skep? Anyway, this one you guys, was made, the base is a solo cup. Yes, just a simple plastic solo cup. And I followed Shamara's directions and I stuffed it really full with paper and you would not believe it's got some hefty weight to it. This other one, I used a, um, I went outside because I knew I had some plastic pots out there. You know when you buy a plant from Lowe's and you take it out of the little pot that it's in? That is what the base of this big one is. And I had some, what's this stuff called over here? You know that stuff you get from the Dollar Tree? Um, it's not cardboard, it's thicker than that. I cut it out after stuffing the base and then it was just a matter of hot gluing, lots and lots and lots and lots of hot glue, this rope all the way around. And this is huge. I mean, here's my hand. You can see how big it is. So I am so excited. I've got some ideas of how I'm gonna decorate with these. But if you haven't been following Shamara's Pretty Things, you need to head over there right now. Give her a follow. She has beautiful things. She has an Etsy store. This blanket was created by her and that's how I came to know her and we're buddies and I just love her. She's a sweetheart. But check out her IGTV today because step-by-step -step tutorial how to make these bee keeps. Good morning guys, it's Cindy from DIY Beautify. Um, if you're following my stories on Instagram, you will have seen these DIY bee skips already. Um, I got the idea and the tutorial from Shamara's Pretty Things. She made it super easy, broke it down. Easiest DIY bee skip tutorial I've seen. And um, I wanted to share just a quick way to finish these off. There's a ton of hot glue that you use for this project. And as you probably know, at the end of a project using hot glue, there's strings all over. The easiest way to deal with that, rather than literally hand picking them one by one, is to use either a heating tool or uh, just a simple blow dryer. And just the hot air blowing over will melt those little strings that are so tiny and they'll just virtually disappear. But there's something else that you can do to finish these off nicely. I'm gonna come in nice and close. You can see that there's these little threads and sort of, I don't know, fuzzy stuff. <clears throat> from the string that is just a fact of life. Um, this one doesn't have those anymore. And the reason is, and I got this idea from one of my followers and I was a little skeptical and I thought I'd try it. You guys, take one of these lighters and don't worry, I'm not gonna burn the house down, I promise. But when you light, Hold on, I'm trying to get my phone. Okay. When you light it, 
it'll burn itself out in just seconds and all those little fibers just melted. It does not turn your string black. However, it does give it a little bit more dimension. So what I'm gonna do, keep your flame moving. You just literally do this all over. And all those little um, fibers will just burn off. You can see how it's turned slightly darker. I actually like that. I think it gives it a little bit more depth than just the plain side. It's totally up to you whether you do this extra step or not. Please be careful. I was really careful because I have a paper bottom, so I didn't even go near <laughs> the bottom. I did not want these going up in flames. I also was careful with the uh, around the hole because this is just black vinyl that I cut in a circle and hot glued onto my B skep before putting the little rope around it. But again, it's paper and I don't want to get a hot flame close to it. I may do, like see this fiber right here? So I may go around the outside. Anyhow, I'm going to link to the heat tool I was talking about in my blog post. And this is just an extra tip just to kind of help you finish off your DIY B-skeps.